All right, so last episode, we loaded plastic in here, turned it on, and we ended up finishing the run. And let's see, this run was done with six Magnetrons on total. And now we're gonna open up this machine. The run total was about three hours. Was three hours with six Magnetrons enough to absolutely carbonize the plastic. Now the blades were not spinning the whole time. Anyway, that wants to support me in the project, I have a Patreon, I have merch, all funds go to Mark 4.5. I appreciate everybody so much. Thank you all for the love. The YouTube channel being growing crazy. The goal is to be able to have the blades spinning the whole time and have complete carbon at the end and no plastic. Well, let's see what we got on the inside. So we got carbon, and that carbon looks really good. Now I got a pan down here. I opened up this port. We're eventually gonna have a discharge container, but for now we just have this. Let's turn the blades on and spin some of this stuff out. We're going forward, we can turn the speed up high since Right now, we're just getting this carbon out. Can you see? The blades are in there. And they're gonna be pushing that carbon out. And it's gonna be falling down here. Now, we did have some buildup up here at the top, which I don't like to see. Oh, look, it all just fell in there. So good. Boom. Big chunk just fell out. Look at that. Perfect. This is exactly how I want the machine to operate. Just constant carbon falling out. It's very dusty. So you're supposed to wear a respirator. I'm talking to you, so I'm not. But I do have protection on. But you want your carbon to be dusty like that. Because that means that there's no longer oils in it. Looking good. So most of it fell down. Still have some up here on the side. Perhaps I could put some type of angled metal or something that stops it from building up like that. And forces it down. You guys let me know what I can do about that to stop that from happening. But that carbon is looking really, really good. This is just from a lot of mixed plastic and some other small mixed things like maybe some general trash like paper. But look at the quality. Look at the look at how fine the powder is. There's almost no big chunks. It's mostly this super fine powder. Of course these big chunks can be sifted out and ran back through the reactor. But you since this reactor operates at such high temperatures and Complete carbonization occurs. Usually anything that's big that isn't this powder is going to be some type of mineral. Some type of valuable mineral that can be recovered and used for other things. So for example, this right here is not carbon. Now this has carbon around it, but this is a piece of aluminum. This is a piece of aluminum here. This is a piece of copper wire, for example. This is, I don't know what this is, some type of rock, but this is not carbon. So almost everything that isn't carbon is can be recovered and has other uses. But the actual carbon itself, this is some fiberglass, right? Now I'm sure that could be recycled, put into concrete or something, right? More fiberglass here, some um, some cords, some little copper. But look at the powder, the carbon itself. I don't see any trace of plastic in this at all. I don't see not a single resemblance of a single piece of plastic. So Mark 4.5 has already this early with just a half power test run, right? 
half of its full power and only three hours long, Mark 4.5 has done what it took me a, a long time, years and years to get to, which is absolute carbonization of plastic. So this machine is officially an operating reactor and now we are going to continu continue to improve the amount of power for the sake of efficiency and for the sake of running the machine off of its own fuel, but in terms of operation, this machine completely works. It turns the plastic into liquid fuels, turns the plastic into gaseous fuels, and creates absolute carbon. And those are all the things we look for. So, guess what I do with this carbon nowadays? For now, until I get to the point where I can successfully filter it and make sure it's clean and before I bury it in the ground, for now, I just mix it with my plastic that I put inside the machine because this will allow the plastic to absorb microwaves better so it's a closed loop so that's it oh yeah baby take a look at this machine crazy how much of a difference that little bit of silver wrap over the furry stuff makes right looking way better the condensing system has been upgraded it's now on a 45 degree tilt two sight glasses have been installed so we can see the vapors better and the branch off for the natural gas is on a uphill climb so oils will not get up here fall up here by accident what I'm going to do in the hopes of improving the condensability of the gases I'm going to put, add ice into the water so let's do that What I have here is a compressor. It is from an air conditioning unit, a window air conditioning unit. These things get up to very high PSI. So they have a vacuum side and a push side. I hook up the vacuum side to my yoga ball full of my plastic natural gas. And then I hook up the push side into a modified propane tank. Now this is not recommended at home. Once you get to this point where you're operating with flammable gases at high pressures, it definitely starts to bridge the gap between straight up danger and then no longer being a DIY project. So anyways, hook it together, turn it on, and then we get the compression going. Just under 100 PSI there. So, as you guys see, the project's coming along great. The machine is working and operating just like I want it to. I do want to remind everybody the machine is operating at half power, meaning it is not complete yet. In fact, not even close to complete because microwaves are so exponential. We're running six, but even running eight or nine can make an absolute huge difference, yet alone if we run 12. I ordered some high voltage 220 microwave power supplies from china they're on the way once we get them we'll be able to actually run more than six magnetrons but until then we're going to be doing six magnetron test runs different configurations different forms of insulation and such to figure out what we can do best anybody that wants to support me in the project i have a patreon i have merch all funds go to Mark 4.5 i appreciate everybody so much thank you all for the love the youtube channel being growing crazy much love to everybody.